Well, separate vigils tonight for a man and a woman lost in Tuesday's crash south of Plattsmouth. The vehicle crossed Highway 75 when it went all the way up in an embankment over a fence and then rolled into a bean field. Authorities didn't find the wreckage until about 11 hours later. Cass County Sheriff's Office believes 22 year old Jeremiah Ferguson was speeding. His friends mourned him tonight at Bryan High. Others mourned his passenger, 21 year old Kelsey LeClaire, at Lewis Central in Council Bluffs. And KATV Newswatch Heaven's Jeremy Maskell joins us from both. Rob, emotional memorials where each went to high school with more than 100 people at each tonight. Jeremiah, I mean, he was, he was the life of the party. I mean, no matter what, if he had a bad day and you had a bad day, he made sure you smiled. One thing she never left off was saying, I love you. And if you didn't say it right away, she kind of yelled at you really quick and you're like, oh, fine, okay, love you too, you know, and that's where we always left it. Two vigils Thursday remember two lives that touched so many in just more than 20 years. We're doing okay. We're getting by. I mean, it, it, of course, it's always tough when you lose a loved one, but with the support uh, from our family and our friends and our neighborhood, uh, it's been great to get through this with them. Many at Bryan High School wore Nebraska shirts for Jeremiah Ferguson. Families say if Nebraska football was on the field, Ferguson was watching and cheering with his dog by his side. Help me, Lord, to come to terms with this tragic death. At Lewis Central, family, friends, and former classmates mourn Kelsey LeClaire, a winner, they say, who was about to begin a new chapter in life. She wanted to do everything and be successful and she was getting ready to move to North Carolina and start kind of a new path and you know she was that kind of person. She was not going to just wait around, she was going to do it. In such unimaginable grief there is some comfort in final words. The last thing she said was love you and unfortunately that was the last time I got to talk to her. As loved ones lean on such large communities of support, they carry with them Jeremiah and Kelsey's passion for life and the people they each held close. And as families plan ways to remember and celebrate their loved ones' lives, Cass County deputies say they are still investigating what led up to Tuesday's crash. Brandy, back to you. Thanks, Jeremy. The man charged with gunning down.